Shifting weed from Schedule 1 to Schedule 3 is the wrong move. It will do absolutely nothing to legalize weed or get the tens of thousands of people incarcerated for cannabis-related offenses out of jail. All it does is change its status from a drug with, quote, no currently accepted medical use and a high potential for abuse to one with, quote, moderate to low potential for physical and psychological dependence. It puts cannabis in the same category as things like ketamine and anabolic steroids, but it doesn't move it out of the Controlled Substances Act, which means that it will still be illegal to possess under federal law. One thing Schedule 3 will do, though, is place fewer restrictions on scientists who want to study the plant something they've had to jump through government hurdles to be able to do under Schedule 1. It would also theoretically allow cannabis to be available by prescription, but since there's no federal medical cannabis program, the more likely scenario in my mind is that pharmaceutical companies see this, jump on the weed wagon, and charge you out the ass for drugs they make and doctors prescribe. At the end of the day, rescheduling cannabis from 1 to 3 would be the biggest move the federal government has ever made concerning the plan. But the fact remains that there are tens of thousands of individuals mostly people of color, who are incarcerated for cannabis-related offenses, and this move won't help keep anyone out. Descheduling it and decriminalizing it altogether is the only solution to that end.